For the past few months, there have been tons of rumors swirling around the internet that the Tesla Cybertruck could actually be canceled in favor of a newly redesigned version. So in this video, we're going to take a deep dive into those rumors, find out what's actually true, and see what's really taking so long for the Cybertruck to be built. Let's go! After all the hype of the launch event wore off, as it typically does for most Teslas, the Cybertruck kind of disappeared. News barely trickled in and we were basically on a Cybertruck blackout until now. Elon Musk recently announced that the Cybertruck is going to get a new design and several changes from what it looked like at the reveal. On a recent earnings call, Elon Musk actually said the following, we always want to make the car that we deliver to be better than the car we unveil. And that's the goal with the Cybertruck. There's lots of small improvements compared to what was unveiled. And I think it's going to be better than what we showed. We've heard rumors about the original design that we saw on stage, not actually making it into the production version of the Cybertruck. And that's when I remembered this little snippet of Matt Farah on the Joe Rogan podcast talking about the design not making it into production. I'm not entirely sure it's it's real. I, my on. initial reaction to that was, that's not a real thing. Meet George Jetson. Da, 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 and da, da, da. my second reaction is, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they couldn't build and sell that in America. Why? That, because I, I just, I just don't think that that will pass the tests that it needs to pass and I and furthermore kind of more more like crash tests pedestrian safety stuff like that basically he doesn't think the Cybertruck as it was originally revealed will pass any of the tests that it needs to pass to be street legal the way it's designed basically can't be sold to the consumer market here are the reasons why and what Tesla plans on changing to make it a legal road going truck Tesla's business model isn't that they've always been a car company first. They've actually been a hype machine tech company before anything else. They do these insane product reveals, get loads of reservations, the stocks jump and people get super excited. But for Tesla, this has always seemed to work, regardless of the fact that they can never realistically deliver any vehicle in the time frame they've ever promised to customers. Tesla can barely keep up with the orders for its current vehicles, let alone add a Cybertruck to the mix anytime soon. One of the major problems is that the truck design is currently deemed unsafe for pedestrians. All those sharp edges and giant proportions would certainly cause injury to anyone bumping into it on the street. So it's hard to believe that Elon Musk is actually only hinting at minor changes. Some reports have even come out saying that the adjustments will be a more even shoulder line. That is, instead of the slanting line, it's gonna be a little bit more straight across smaller window sills, and even downsizing the proportions of the entire truck. Tesla will also have to add external side mirrors, which they don't have in the launch version, because those internal cameras without side rear view mirrors are actually not even legal in the United States yet. They'll also have to change the steering wheel to a more just traditional round design, and loads of other things that will make it safe for the driver, passengers, and any pedestrians around the vehicle. And that brings us to this next part. It's also been suggested that if the Cybertruck actually doesn't sell well, that Tesla may be looking at a complete design overhaul, bringing it more in line with a normal pickup truck, basically taking all the cyber elements out of it completely. But it's not all gloom and doom for the 250,000 plus people who put down a $100 deposit to order the truck. According to a few tweets by Elon Musk over the past few months, that actually might change less than we think. In May, Elon Musk actually responded to a tweet about the size saying, I reviewed the design with friends last night. Even 3% smaller is too small. It'll be pretty much this size. We'll probably do a smaller tight world truck at some point. Musk has also been very open to ideas that people have been tweeting to him about adding different features in the future. While the design is crazy cool, I think Tesla will actually have a hard time making this truck a reality as it currently sits. And the competition between electric truck manufacturers is just starting to heat up. Rivian just released new details about its truck that could change everything about the electric truck market. Rivian has actually announced dates that these trucks will be available to the public, while Tesla still has not. Rivian says by June of 2021, they'll be making the first deliveries to customers. While the Cybertruck website says it could be available sometime 
by the end of 2021. On November 16th of 2020, Rivian customers who made a pre-order will actually get full access to the configurator for the launch edition. There are several different color choices and for $75,000, you can get a truck with 300 plus miles of range and one that is in my opinion, a more road friendly and better looking vehicle than the Cybertruck. While the Rivian takes a traditional approach, which appeals to a lot of customers, Elon Musk is betting on his unique design of the Cybertruck to break all kinds of sales records for the company. What really makes the Cybertruck different and a little bit harder to produce is its unique stainless steel exoskeleton design that is so strong, it can apparently stop a bullet. That's right, a nine millimeter full metal jacket bullet dead in its tracks. Because of this design, you actually can't use the traditional method of producing a vehicle. And that's why the Cybertruck looks and functions different from a traditional design. It's designed more for utility than that aesthetic look. While the future of the Cybertruck is being contemplated, it's not just the design that's keeping the Cybertruck from being built on time. Tesla decided to build the Cybertruck at a brand new Gigafactory located in Austin, Texas. And this massive undertaking is currently undergoing construction and Tesla's first truck won't be able to start production until this factory is even completed. Elon Musk recently commented that in order for Tesla to bring the Cybertruck to production, by the end of the year, everything needs to go perfectly smooth at the Gigafactory in Texas. And they need to develop their new manufacturing process for the pickup truck's exoskeleton body. The world famous CEO warned that there are gonna be challenges when trying to do that. And he already set the stage for possible delays. The official timeline for the start of some kind of production, which not necessarily includes full vehicles at the gig factory, but also the batteries, is now slated to be closer to sometime around May of 2021. And that's if there are no more construction delays. As for the timeline to production, Musk did remind everyone that the Cybertruck is tied to Tesla completing this factory. And he said, it's dependent on completing that factory. And there are some new technologies with the exoskeleton. This has never been done before. So there will probably be some challenges. Elon Musk said, it, if all actually does go well and there are no more delays, Tesla should realistically deliver some cyber trucks in late 2021 as previously announced. But people should not expect a high volume of production until 2022. While there have been some delays in producing the cyber truck, it's really a game changer in the truck world and something to closely watch as we get closer to it actually being built for public use. While the competition for electric trucks is really going to be fierce over the next few years, I believe that the Cybertruck, after its redesign and changes, will be super competitive in the market once it's finally sent to consumers sometime in the next year or two. Is the Cybertruck going to be totally canceled? I don't think so, but they are definitely canceling the design as it was revealed for something a little bit different and more consumer friendly. We'll just have to wait a few weeks and find out. So with all this said, when can we actually expect to see the new design changes that Elon Musk announced on the Cybertruck? In a recent tweet, Elon Musk said, we can actually see the photos on the updated design in about a month or so. I don't know about you, but I'm really excited to see what they have coming for this truck. So with all that said, I got a question to ask you. Do you actually think it'll be released exactly as it was shown at the launch event a year ago? Or do you think there will be a totally different design? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'll see you tomorrow.